and welcome to Common Sense TV. I'm your host, the doctor of common sense. Joe Biden was on the bicycle again. Mm-hmm. That's right. They put him on the bicycle again. I guess your ratings are so low, they're trying to kill his food. But what I liked about his interview now is because the dumb, this, this freaking idiot he had this helmet on saying uh, he, he looking like a fool with the helmet on. No, you look like a fool with the helmet off too. But he says, he gives the excuse, he said the reason he fell off the bicycle is because he had to make an adjustment to his bicycle. Here comes Joe Biden again. He's okay today, though. He took off the flag. That, that's what's causing the problem, you damn fool. I'm glad. How you feeling? I'm feeling good. Good, that's great. I'm looking for the sun now. I'm trying to do that. Some things that... Some of the groups want. I look like a fool here. Yeah, you always look like a fool. You look good. Uh, if I, if I, if I, if I put a helmet on because it's a tough interview. <laughs> fool act like he riding a Harley, Harley or something. This ain't no freaking Harley, fool. It's a bicycle, man. No so you're so stupid that you didn't put your foot down. When you stopped the bicycle, and he said his feet got caught in the pedal or something, he had to adjust. Let me see the adjustment. You're a filthy liar. The adjustment. That's why nobody like me can ask the question, because I've been saying, what, what adjustment are you talking about here? Because I don't see no other adjustment. And here's the tape right here again. Uh, you didn't put your foot down. Mr. President, made up. Dr. Biden, how is that right? It's got nothing to do with the adjustment. You're too stupid. That's why, and, and speaking of stupid, didn't they have to give you a cue card to tell you to sit down when you entered the room, wave at the crowd, wave at the crowd, stupid, and then now sit down, sit down, don't speak, don't speak. And so he tells the crowd the reason that he failed is that he had to make an adjustment. This fool acting like he like evil Knievel or something. <laughs> Hey, Mr. President. Oh, I'm good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep up the good work. I keep on taking these, these things off. Got my foot caught. Here comes Joe Biden again. He's okay today, though. I took off the flag. <laughs> he took off the flag. That, that's what's causing the problem, you damn fool. <laughs> He's acting like he's riding like a Harley, popping willies and stuff. It was a stop. Am I missing something here? You came to a complete stop, and then you failed. Not riding and falling, not trying to pop willies or coming over some hills or something. At a complete stop, this fool failed, and he said he had to adjust the paddles or something. Oh, please. You had to adjust the paddles on what, a bicycle? <laughs> he acting like... He he acting like he's some kind of daredevil or something. Yeah. Got off the bike with his helmet on. I had to uh how you doing, Mr. President? Oh, I'm doing I'm doing great. I had to I had to adjust I had to adjust my Harley because uh the paddles was kinda getting in my way when I was riding Whoa! and I had to adjust it because uh I fell last time. <laughs> you can't. You can't make it up, I swear you can't. Donald Trump was making fun of him because Donald Trump says, uh, Joe Biden fell on the bicycle. I hope he's okay. He said, I can assure you, I will never ride a bicycle. Smart man. One of the greatest travesties of all is to see a person in the White House who, even after years of political experience, has absolutely no clue how to be the President of the United States. And I hope he has recovered because, as you know, he fell off his bicycle today. No, I'm serious. I hope he's okay. Fell off a bicycle. I make this pledge to you today. I will never, ever ride a bicycle. See, a man has to know his limitations. Joe Biden's so stupid, he don't know his limitations. See, if you ain't good at riding bicycle, like you ain't good at riding motorcycle, don't get on a motorcycle. If you don't know what you're doing, don't get on the motorcycle. You ain't good at doing skiing or whatever like that. You're going to hurt yourself. Mm -mm. 
You got to know your limitations. But evidently, when you're stupid, when you have to be told to wipe your butt, chew your food, swallow, don't pass gas in front of dignitaries, you not don't know any better. And then it's, what's so sad about it is that they keep letting them roll up on the bike and do an interview. Y'all better put him back in the basement. He was better in the basement because we knew he was stupid, but at least he wasn't saying anything. You can pretend he's working behind the scenes. He's working behind the scenes. This fool came by a bicycle and you want me to expect that he's negotiating something? He don't know how to put his feet down. He got to be told to sit down. He got to be told to wave. You expect me to believe that he's the leader of the free world. How many votes did he get again? 81 what? Okay then. Y'all believe? Mm-hmm. Surely I do. <laughs> I really do believe you. I don't know who they think they got food. I mean, you got to be the dumbest of the dumbest if you actually think that Joe Biden got 81 million votes. I don't even know what to say about your brain, really. But Mr. Bicycle Rally, Mr. Evil Knievel says that now everything is fine. He's not going to fall no more because he made the proper adjustments it's on his Harley. That's right, he made the proper adjustments on his Harley. Because you don't want to just be falling off your Harley when you ride, especially when you come to a stop. I don't know if he forgot to put the kickstand down or what. I think he thought the bike just stand up by itself and it'll hold him up and then he just, boom, just fell over. <laughs> but he's got that taken care of now because he wants you to know that he made the proper adjustment. He got the mechanic come in like it was a pit stop, like he was in the Indy 500. When I came into the pit stop, I was expecting my crew to be there and for them to come in and kick the kickstand down and say, get off the bicycle, Mr. President. You great race. This is like make-believe make land. I swear, this is like when, when kids are small and they're playing house or playing hide-and-go-see or playing some kind of game. You know how the kids do? They, they find all kinds of stuff to do, just play around. We're playing games as if Joe Biden is in charge. And they're still interviewing him. These media are such fraud. I hate the media. They're such frauds because they're so nice to him. No matter, he don't answer the questions for him. He runs out on interviews. When he gets really mad, he says, you stupid SOB. And they still kiss up to you. You know why? Because they're demon possessed. Donald Trump did all kind of interviews. Look at how they was towards him. Joe Biden is destroying the economy. Gas prices is off the chain. And they're not even upset. They're still being like, Mr. President, you're doing so wonderful. Thank you for talking to us. The motto. I mean, technically the motto of the Biden administration, just about all leftists, is DCO. Now, you know what DCO stands for, don't it? If you in any city ran by these left-wing nut jobs, the motto is DCO. Don't come outside. Because you're about to get robbed around this camp right here. Pistol whooped too. DCO, don't come outside. If you want to stay safe, stay in your house. But be armed, but we don't want you to have a gun. But just barricade yourself in the, in the door and hope the police show up. Because we defunded a bunch of them. This is Joe Biden's America. We're in like fairy tale land. I'm, su I'm surprised I don't see a unicorn just run by right now. Because this is like, I never would have thought that the media would try to dumb us down this far. You can't dumb me down with this stupidity. I'm going to mock you every chance I get. You're stupid. And anybody who thinks Joe Biden's in charge, it's, it's double stupid. And this media is sucking up to Joe Biden. This moron, amoral moron. He's an amoral moron. Take shower with a door. Look at the stuff that Hunter Biden has done. But that's acceptable. Because this is one of them. The devil knows his children. So they're okay with this. They're content with this. He didn't, he forgot. He made some adjustments. So he wouldn't fall next time. Oh, put your feet down. You won't fall. I mean, it, it, imagine what the Secret Service really should be thinking if they got any sense. Like, damn, this is the dumbest man I've ever had to protect. Don't go outside. Don't hurt yourself. Watch your step right there. Don't stick the fork in your eye. You got to tell him everything. But they want us to pretend like he's in charge. He was negotiating with the CEO. He's going to talk to China. No, he's not. He's not going to do a damn thing. If you got to tell a person to sit down, put your feet down, you got to tell a person to wave, to enter the room, uh, to make sure you speak to people. That's like you something you do with little kids. Make sure you speak to everybody. Got to tell your kids this. This is a grown freaking man who's been in office 
since the time, the days of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And now you want me, you want me to go along with this game pretending as if the reason he fell off the bike is because he had to make an adjustment. The reason that the economy is doing bad is because of Vladimir Putin and COVID. Stop embarrassing yourself with the stupidity.